Hey, thanks for coming along to, to look. Uh, this is the Elecraft K1, and this video is about the antenna tuner that goes inside, and it mounts on this connector and this connector, and it's called the KAT1. And so if this was a book or a mystery novel, maybe this would be E is for expensive or B is for broken. So back in... October 30th of 2022, I was on eBay and I thought 77 pounds sounded like a great deal. So I clicked buy it now. And then I realized after that, that the guy was charging 56 pounds shipping and $7 tax for a grand US total of a, almost 180 bucks for a tuner. And then I got it home and it's broken. So it's been broken since last year or about 10 months ago. I've tried it in a couple of radios and each time the same thing on the display you get dash 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 which means the main controller can't talk to the controller on the tuner which is here this chip so in the meantime i've also bought a rig that had a working tuner in it so now i've got a comparison shopping uh, board to play with and uh, here's what happened so they're both kat ones they're one's a rev c one's a rev cr which is Rojas, which is, let's see, removal of hazardous substances. So it likely didn't have any lead on it as it was shipped until somebody soldered it with lead solder, probably. And then to remind you that that was 23 years ago when that got built, but I'm still messing with it. So the firmware versions are slightly different. One is 110 and one is 1.3. So I swapped the chips between the two boards. The good board still worked and the bad board still didn't work. I then installed it again made sure that the error was the same it was the dash 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 then i checked the circuit path so the way this controller talks to the main controller is over these this uh, little three pin jack has power ground and the microprocessor signal and you can follow it down the board uh, let's see we can yank this off you can see here on the schematic so it comes in goes through a hundred micro henry choke has a capacitor to ground which is a 102 and a 100 ohm resistor. And you can see those pretty plainly. It comes over here, there's the choke, there's the resistor, and there's the cap. So I looked over at the board and I followed the signal from the final place to here. This is a via that goes across a trace on the top and comes out here, which is under the chip, so you can't see that. And it goes down here to pin one. And then if you're looking like I was looking, maybe I can zoom and you can see, you can also debug the same problem I found, which is pin one looks great, or pardon me, pin 28 looks great, but pin one has absolutely no solder. And guess what? Pin one is the power for the controller chip on the KAT1. So I'm about to go solder that, but I'm pretty confident that I'll have a working $180 tuner that I've been sitting on for 10 months. So thanks for watching.